Nigeria is winning, guys. That's the honest truth. A lot of people don't see it in the background. I know things are hard. To be honest, things are hard. But these things shouldn't overcloud us from seeing the successful things that are happening in the background. You understand? It's sometimes I get up, I want to do a video about the good things happening in Nigeria now. And I feel like, where? What would Nigerians think? What would these guys feel? Because I feel like there are so many Nigerians right now who are convinced that there's nothing good happening in Nigeria. Nothing good ab at all about the country. But that doesn't discourage me because whenever I see good things, I still love to share. And I still want to give Nigerians hope that, guys, don't give up on Nigeria. Don't think that is the worst situation. There are still so many good things happening in Nigeria. And like the one I'm about to tell you now. So please just relax. Eh? I know say as you just open your social media, you can see all the negative things happening in the country. Negative, negative. But just bear with me and watch this video. At least you will be proud as a Nigeria that Nigeria is at this level already. As I'm talking to you. Now, the first thing is you should know that your president has left China. is now going to the UK. It's moving up and down. I don't know why it's moving and looking for. But that's not what I want to talk about here. The president also made some, some short statement that Nigeria is about to become China in Africa. Yep. Yep. The president of Nigeria said Nigeria will become China in Africa. Nigeria is about to become the China of Africa. We need to break it down. We need to analyze that statement and see exactly what the Nigeria president is talking about. And is it possible for the president of Nigeria to achieve what he's claiming that he wants to achieve? Because he has promised Nigerians that the kind of building, the kind of infrastructure, the kind of technology, the way China just suddenly rise up to become a great country, that's how Nigeria will suddenly rise and become a great country like China. That's a promise by the president. But is it possible? And can the president make it happen? Let's look at some few sectors. And see what is happening there already and if nigeria has that potential to become china i mean nigeria has it we don't even need to doubt nigeria has more than enough potential to even become twice china in terms of everything because china did not even have half of what nigeria has in terms of natural resources china did not have it but nigeria have enough natural resources that can make nigeria the new china of africa that can shock the world that can bringing tremendous economic growth that growth that will change the world the president talked about making sure that before the end of his mandate nigeria is a, is a trillion dollar economy we all know that nigeria is somewhere around 500 billion dollar economy 600 billion dollar economy but that trillion dollar economy is it reachable these are all the things that the president is promising nigerians that he can do but let's look at some things that are already happening right now we saw the minister of external relations and whatever, whatever, whatever he came out on social media to testify that nigeria is one of the only african countries that is exporting finished products to china europe america and many other countries exporting finished products some of these finished products you already know about them you already know about the dangote's fuel gas oil and many other petroleum products that Dangote is exporting to Europe, to Latin American countries, and many other countries in this world. So Nigeria is already great in that sector. There are many oil producing countries in this world that don't export the finished product. You only export the crude. You understand? But Nigeria is already knocking that door in that sector and it's already a success. But that's not the only product that Nigeria is exporting. We are talking of food. Nigeria is the world leading producer of food. We have even seen uh the uh, bill gates confirmed that nigeria can take that position and determine how food we produce and run in this world nigeria has that potential and that power for nigeria to become the new china of africa it means that all these sectors in nigeria have to grow at once china became the china of the world because of how china suddenly took over europe in terms of production took over america all the phones the shoes Everything that America was taking years to produce, China began producing them in days, in weeks, in months. In terms of construction, they brought new ways to build. Once America developed a new technology and a new idea, China will replicate it in 24 hours. Make it cheaper, make different versions, make it available in every country. Finish products here and there. So Nigeria has that potential because we are already seeing 
many cities in Nigeria, like Aba and others, where they are transforming vehicles. They will transform this vehicle to this kind of vehicle, transform this product to this kind of product. Where a new designer shoe comes out today, Nigeria produces it tomorrow. A new phone or a new technology comes out today, Nigeria is already doing it tomorrow. We are seeing that trend already in Nigeria. The talent is there. The knowledge is there. The skills are there. So all that Nigeria needs now is that push for them to rise in that sector the way China suddenly rose and took over the world. China needed the population. Nigeria is blessed with the population. And so Nigeria is literally at that position where a good president or a good leader or a good government can give Nigeria that growth. Infrastructure, it can come. Everything is possible. This Nigeria can become the new China of Africa. This Nigeria can actually grow to make that great success and make Africa proud. If and only if everything is done well. But it's not going to be easy, Sha, because Africa is mostly full of lawless country. Lawless country. The kind of leadership that China imposed to achieve what China achieved. If they impose that leadership in Nigeria, <laughs> well, I go too much. I don't think Nigerians can even succumb to that kind of leadership. Nigeria cannot, I mean, because before China became China, their government simply became imperialist government, where everything in China, everything was to celebrate and honor China. The kind of law, it was strict. It was so powerful. It was so demanding. Every Chinese was to defend China. Nigerians, how many of them are they defend Nigeria? <laughs> so that's where I find it very difficult because for that kind of growth to be achieved, eh, the kind of law that must be in place, a lot of people will go jail, a lot of people will face the wrath of the law, a lot of people which I don't think Nigerians are ready for that. If that kind of law is imposed, Nigerians will be the first people to kick against it. They will be the first people to say, oh, no, 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 no. This government, this government, this kind of law, we are not free. It's taking away our rights. It's taking away our this. You understand? So that's where, for me, I find it very, very challenging because that kind of law is almost like a dictatorship and it's hard to do it in Nigeria. So Nigeria is looking forward to seeing what their president can do. Can he make them the, 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 the China of Africa, the new China of Africa with infrastructure, with growth, with uh, economic growth and many other changes in the country? We are observing, but I believe nothing is impossible with Nigeria. It is what it is. Your boy Ajay Max on this one again. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell. Come back anytime you're free, guys. God bless you. Cheers.